federal appeals court has blocked Texas from charging migrants with a state crime and having judges order them across the border. Wink News reporter Claire Galt is in Eagle Pass, Texas tonight and tells us how this change is being handled there. There's no visible change that I can see. And when I asked questions, no one would answer. Now, I was the only reporter allowed inside of Shelby Park today, but I was warned that I wouldn't be able to follow State Guard men and women in the same way that I was able to follow the day-to-day -day of FWC and FHP officers. But I did get access to speak with one volunteer soldier. Pass the locked gates of Shelby Park and make a left. There sits a Florida Department of Emergency Management trailer. Inside it, Command Sergeant Major Craig Campbell with the Florida State Guard. I met Campbell Wednesday morning, hours after the federal court ruling, stopping Texas from arresting migrants and charging them with a state crime, and judges from sending them back to Mexico. When I asked Campbell if the ruling changes anything for the Florida State Guard, he told me. That's a something going on in Texas, and I am from Florida. The State Guard is a group of trained volunteers okay. ordered by Governor Ron DeSantis to assist Texas in securing the border. There's 20 men and women here now. I wasn't allowed to see the work members are doing, but Campbell told me they do everything from flying drones to keeping an eye on surveillance cameras to offering medical attention to migrants who made it across. Well, some of the guys that I've come out here I've never worked with before, so we're getting to see our strengths and our weaknesses with each other and we have to bond together and build a bridge because that's important. When I came to Shelby Park Monday and met with FWC and FHP, I got a better look at the work they're doing. I saw the razor wire lining the Rio Grande, clothes of migrants hanging from the metal, soldiers standing on mounds with guns. And I saw a little girl and her mother, Maya and Alicia. I come from Honduras. I've been traveling for two months to get here. Texas National Guard soldiers told them to turn around. They did not. I can't go back. I can't go back. That's the one time they made us leave because moments later, FHP told me, local authorities took the mother into custody and the girl to the Department of Family Services. What we take for granted, of course, what we have in this country because when you see the faces come across, it, the, it's the kids that's it's really rough. Lieutenant Dennis Roberts with Florida Highway Patrol sees moms and daughters like Maya and Alicia all the time. Oftentimes, his job is to help them if they get hurt. Sometimes the waist deep walk in water means people drown. That's when FWC Lieutenant Stuart Spody steps in. I've personally been involved with several rescues, people that wouldn't be alive today, you know, unless we were here uh, to, to pull them out of the water and legitimately do CPR and resuscitate them. So I know for a fact that we've saved lives down here. One of the reasons I was told I can't follow the state guard is because the work they're doing is dangerous. Now, as far as we know, no Florida men or women have been hurt. The Florida people here did tell me that the days are long, but they feel it's their duty to be here. At Shelby Park at the southern border, I'm Claire Galt, Wink News.